Journalism Institute of Texas University. So right now we are hosting uh, Indian students and we are having a Catholic story. University, then Research Center. The purpose of this building always was educational. From 2005, it's under Caucasus University's ownership, but it was really difficult to remain this uh, historical atmosphere and it was under reconstruction for more than 10 years. And we moved to this building only 2017. Please follow me. So uh, at this moment at Caucasus University, we have 10 faculty, 10 schools, and 45 academic programs. As far as our university is practice-based university, we have at least one practical lab for each school. So of course, uh, medical program is not exception. And right now I would like to show you one of the labs of, of uh, medical school, please. So this is the seafloor, right side and even left side you, you can see the general auditoriums. The maximum number of students are 25. We do not have uh, big groups with hundreds of students because we think that face-to-face -face communication is very important and uh, small lectures are more effective. Okay, so you can see many paintings here in the campus, which is not very, very common for the universities, but uh, all of them are from the personal collection of the university president. And then Dr. Kaha donated all these paintings to the uh, university. You will find many um, famous uh, painters here. And here you can see the whole history of the university. Uh, official pictures from the graduation ceremony, which is the biggest celebration of the year. And somewhere here, your, your graduation will be. <laughs> <laughs> your graduation picture will, will be put it. So, yeah, as you see, number of students are increasing. And last four graduations we already celebrated here. It's, it's the biggest day of the year, really. And all students are waiting for this special day whole year. This is our main conference hall. Uh, the capacity of this conference hall is 500 persons at the same time. We use this space to organize different formal and informal uh, meetings, conferences, panel discussions, public lectures, and even welcome sessions for, for our international and local students. Um, right now at 10 a.m. we have a conference, local conference, and that's why it's already prepared. And yeah, so, so your welcome session will be uh, planned here. <laughs> and this is one of the most beautiful part of our campus. This chandelier is made specifically for our university by Swarovski. And when we have these celebrations, Christmas or whatever, so sometimes here you can uh, see the red carpet. Yes. And this uh, sticker on the window is from the Christmas decoration from previous year and then we decided to it's quite beautiful and we, we picked it. <laughs> so 
So this is a courtroom specifically for law faculty because we do have a law program. Uh, this is the 100% copy replica of real Georgian courts. Behind this wall, there is a decision-making room for the ju juries and judges. And in order to promote our program, and in this case, uh, law program, we organize uh, different competitions, mock trials, um, even for high school students. But uh, this practical part is mandatory for um, in the whole curriculum. So that's why we have so many labs and so many um, spaces um, for the practical. Uh. Uh, let me show you clinical skills laboratory. This is also for uh, medical school, for you. But as you know, we have partnership with more than 20 hospitals in Georgia, which means that most of the practical part of your program will go there. Because we think that real, um, real hospital is much more um, important for um, med medical MD students than uh, like the, the medical labs. So that's why we decided to have several uh, labs in the campus and also partnership with different very, very good and best hospitals in Georgia. So during the reconstruction time, we discovered chapel here. As far as I, as you know, primarily he was Armenian, so that's why we had chapel. It was completely destroyed. But we decided to uh, renovate and repaint and keep as part of our campus and part of our history. Of course, we do not have so-called service here, but this is like part of, part of us. So you can have a look how it looks like. Yeah, of course, you can. No, no, no problem. This is our Entrepreneurship Development Center. Um, we have specific department which help students to create their ideas into real businesses. There are startups from the very beginning to the very last point. We have several success stories with that idea. So if you will have any specific ideas, you can just enter this room and share your, your views and ideas to the very professional team which will follow you through this process. Mm -hmm. Girls, come that way. This is the first floor of the university. Most of the rooms are for our staff members, but we have general classes as well. Uh, this is small lit cafe, which is part of the library. So you can have a coffee or a lunch or just have a seat and, and work or study. This is open for everyone, for staff members, for students and for faculty as well. And here we have our library. Please. Thank you, copyright. We have two floors. In the second floor, you can find PC computers and individual spaces for, for students. Of course, all texting materials are available electronically. However, if you would like to um, read it from the hard copy, you are more than welcome to visit the, the library anytime. So as you see, it's not very big, 
That's why we uh, purchased the land nearby the university and we are going to build a separate library with the bigger space and facilities specifically for, for this purpose. So we have very, very active student life uh, because we think that um, social part is very important for, for students. That's why we have several traditional um, activities and celebrations and you had an opportunity to experience one of them, welcome party. But we have specific departments, students and alumni relations office, who is responsible for all the extracurriculum activities which is organized at the university. So we have different student clubs, unions, um, sport, culture and many more. But a part of this, if you have any specific ideas you can create or you can do, you are more than welcome to initiate because we love uh, new ideas. So if you would like to promote your country or any, any specific direction you are interested in, that will be brilliant. So this room D1 is specifically for that. Uh, this is a um, small newsroom for uh, media school because we do have journalism and public relations as well. That's why here we have <coughs> small newsroom, like a um, small version of real um, newsroom with editing room, recording room and all the technical facilities which is important for this purpose. And when we have this recruiting time, we use this Pace to promote the university, promote the program involved with the deans or program directors. So this is one of the most important pace, not only for journalism students, but for us as well, because we always try to use every everything what you see here. Okay, actually that was the, the last spot to see. Uh, however, we did not see the mm, uh, cafeteria. And right now I will just show you the cafeteria and after that you can you can go to your first on campus lecture. It was really really nice to meet you. Okay, let's let's use the, the stairs and go down. So this is our canteen area, cafeteria. You can have a lunch or dinner here. Prices are very reasonable. <coughs> and we try to take into consideration this diversity we have in terms of international students. So this is cafeteria and capacity of this uh, mm, uh, canteen is 300 persons at the same time. We have buffet there. So you can uh, have a lunch or a dinner here or just have a seat and have a coffee. Uh, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it was really, really nice to meet you. And let's stay in touch. So I'll, I'll let you know uh, the date and time of the welcome session. And yeah, good luck. Thank you. To your lectures and to your student life here. And you can contact me anytime, 24 hours in a seven days, like in, regarding anything. You can call me and I'll do my best to, to help you. Okay? Thank you. Okay. <laughs>